This is one of a series of rapid fire reviews of different ear training software. This review is of Meludia, which is M E L U D I A dot com. What makes Meludia a little bit different than other ear training software that I'm reviewing in this series is that it breaks down the component parts of being able to hear sound into many, many different pieces. So, where many different applications focus on just can you hear the difference in pitch between two different notes and potentially recreate that pitch, Meludia breaks the sounds down into a huge number of different component parts. So first, let's take a look at the dashboard here. I am playing uh, the Meludia game, and I've just started through the path. So I'm kind of at the beginner discovery phase still. When I click into the discovery section here, I'm presented with a number of different levels, uh, from one through eight within this first major group. And within each level, I can click into um, the different lessons in that level and the different skills or tracks that make up that lesson. So we can see we're basically in the discover phase in the second group of lessons and there's uh, five different skills that I'm going to be practicing here from chord quality to melodic patterns to stable, unstable, spatialization, and percussion. So I'll go ahead and click into percussion here and kind of start to see how Meludia works there's not a whole lot of instruction. All it asks me is if the percussive hit sounds high or low. And then I jump straight in, start playing. Okay, that one was pretty straightforward. It was fairly easy to tell that uh, there's two different sounds of drums there and I either said that it was a high drum or a low drum. Now, some of the other skills I have found quite challenging, sometimes some of the pitch detection and other, um, other component parts that Meludia teaches are much more difficult than that. The, the percussion just happened to be uh, relatively easy. Let's check out spatialization. Sound is played, is it low, medium, or high pitched? Interesting. Uh, this is kind of difficult. I have no idea. I have nowhere to calibrate here. I'll just say it's medium. Okay, that sounded like it went high to medium. I, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of lost right now. I, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, apparently I got that one right. It sounds like I'm supposed to test on the second tone, perhaps. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that made a little bit more sense. So some of these require some kind of trial and error experimentation. But hey, I kind of like that. I'd rather explore and figure it out because that is actually a key tenet of learning is that when you actively participate and discover things by yourself, like I just did there in that lesson, then it... Um, it forces you to kind of engage with the content a little bit more as opposed to just being told like, oh, there's a high note and a low note. So that, that process of active exploration, active discovery, figuring out how the rules work is actually a really powerful learning technique. So I, I like that they incorporated that into this game. And I can imagine that there are probably times when this might get frustrating if uh, the difficulty curve is not managed well, if there gets to be a point where I'm confused by the rules of a game, this could go wrong, but when it works, it works great. So that's just kind of a, a brief overview of Meludia. It seems to be quite good for developing just general perception of sound, though I still wonder to what degree does it, does it transfer to other uses. Like if I wanted to use it as a singing tool uh, to help me improve the, my, my voice, is it really useful there? And I don't have an answer to that because I'm not seeing it as uh, something that specifically develops my uh, ability to match you know, the sound of my voice against some chord, for example, which is what some other ear training apps do. But for general sound perception, it seems like you can develop some very, very fine-grained skills and it really breaks down the, the idea.
idea of perceiving music into many different subcomponents. Um, just to give you a sense, we can go back out of this lesson. The discovery section and into the first section. Well, the, I already played these le levels. Um, um, we have some of the same ideas like spatialization, but we also, also have different ones like rhythm and density. So many different ways that Melody is breaking down the scale perceive um, your, your ability to hear something on so many different axes. And aside from developing the, even if you develop the skill through Melodia, does it work to help in you know, other places that you might want to use it? And that, that's what I would like to try to understand or uh, what I would ask of the developers is how does this transfer to my actual music playing and my musical practice? But overall, it seems like a great piece of software, and I recommend you give the free version a shot.